Hey everyone. So I got this question from someone from my course saying, um, do we stay with one person until they're fully heard before we switch to another person, even if they, they also kind of want to be heard? And so I really love this question because I think it goes to, it combines a lot of sort of NBC principles and a lot of, I guess, principles of life. Um, so first, just to say that, um, yeah, there's this concept in NBC of listening to someone until the end of words. And there's this idea that of the importance of listening in general. And it is important because what happens if you don't listen is that you're probably going to react. So someone says something and you react from a place of fear or, you know, being afraid that you're not going to be heard. Or maybe they say something and you take it personal. Or maybe they are in pain and that's that's just that's uncomfortable for you and you want to get rid of their pain. So you're giving them advice or all of these kind of reactions. Um, they cause either conflict, and I'm, it's a bit of a heavy word, but in NBC, we say conflict in a bit of a broader way, right? So it's more like you're going to get tension and maybe conflict. Or if you're the type of person that maybe avoids conflict, then there might be distance. You know, you might slowly have more and more distance and have a, maybe a break because of that, a break in the relationship. So, so that's what we don't want to do, <laughs> but then, okay, what to do instead? So, so NVC says listening. And what does that mean? Listening means staying with someone's experience and being able to also, and this might sound a bit weird, but listening is actually also means doing self-care sort of at the same time. So this is why listening can be really hard in the beginning because you're actually doing a lot of things at the same time, even though, you know, from a distance, it might look like you're just sitting still and not doing much. But if someone is sharing something, say there's, they're, they're sharing that, you know, they don't like that you need time for yourself. It's your partner and they don't like that you, that you want a day for yourself. And, you know, they're saying that, you know, it's, it's, they might say it even in a bit, bit of a judgmental way like you know you it's like you don't matter it's like I don't matter to you right this is something like that and of course you want to react you know that's that's like our sort of learned response our learned way of dealing with this but um so listening means actually um taking care of myself in that moment so I can keep having the space to hear what is behind the other person's judgment because a judgment is just a superficial layer right and so it means um taking care of the sort of hurt the the child in me that's in pain you know i'm saying the child in me because this is this concept of you know our vulnerable side that is that maybe never got hurt itself very well so that's what you need to do in that moment and so i can say to myself like you know in that moment like Oh, this, this could be triggering this. Yeah. Yeah. I can feel it's a little bit painful. He says that, that I don't matter to him. It's not true. You know, I want to react like it's not true. I want to go on this level of right and wrong. You know, you don't care about me. Yes, I do. You're wrong. You're wrong. And this is where, you know, conflict. Um, and so I want to notice that like, Ooh, I'm a bit on that level. So that means there's something something vulnerable in me, something is hurt. And so I might even land on an NVC need of something like, yeah, I want to be trusted in my love, or I want to be, I want to be heard as well. And then I can even in that moment, tell myself, like, I, I really like this sentence of, you know, I will take care of my needs. You know, my, these needs that right now I need to sort of hold for myself or maybe even park a little bit or definitely the, the feelings to be heard. I need to park that a little bit, but just to tell myself this is temporary. Like, like I feel that I have enough space to hear this person. And so temporarily I will. Okay. I'm going a bit too much in the, into the listening techniques now, but so that's, that's listening. 
So listening is taking care of yourself. So you have space to stay with the other person instead of fixing them or judging them or anything like that, trying to switch to you being heard. So, so the question is, what if, um, what if it takes really long, right? I, I guess that's what this question um, of my student comes from. Like, sometimes it just doesn't happen. I keep listening and listening. And so a few things might be going on. Um, yes, there are topics that are so deep that maybe it takes very long to be, you, you won't be heard in them in one go, let's say. And what does that mean for the other person? So how do you balance the two? When do you switch? And so, so then the question is kind of like, what does it mean to be heard, right? What does that mean? Because sometimes, very often, any kind of pain that wants to be heard is surrounded by a pain of never having been, never having been heard in a topic. And this is important, so I'm going to repeat myself. So there, there might be any kind of pain you're, you're, you're listening to in your partner is a pain in itself. So maybe they feel like, oh, other people don't care about me. That might be sort of a core pain, a core suspicion they have. And so you might touch that when you want an evening for yourself. But around that, there's always this pain of, you know, pain not being heard. And so... If that's the case, then, then it, can be, it can be hard for them to, to trust even that someone wants to listen and it might take a long time. And so it's important for every party in the dialogue to sort of realize that, you know, there is a resolving, like there is a sort of having a sense that what you have to say landed in the other person and that they feel compassion for you that they landed on this space of this this yeah space of compassion this level of compassion and sort of having all your problems fixed having all your childhood problems healed which is not very realistic right and so so it's some so so there needs to be a mix i think in order to to have this moment where you you can sort of um say okay it's not entirely finished but i'm heard enough and this has to do with trust that your partner is not the only person that will hear you that you can hear yourself and trust in general in being heard so this is like a lot of things i'm teaching an ongoing process that you need to experience for yourself and that you need to take care of for yourself so that you your system gets this message of yes marianne knows how to make sure we get heard you know so it doesn't always have to come from this particular person and it doesn't have to, and it doesn't all have to come this time. Like when we're in this scared space, there's also this tendency of it all has to be fixed now. And so my, my first idea with this is actually that each person realizes that it doesn't all have to be fixed now. All you want to do is, is get clarity. So make sure that someone understands you and, and make sure that you have the sense that someone is on this compassionate layer. That's what you want to try. And it, it won't always happen, of course. So, and that's a moment where you can switch even if maybe there's still a few things that are not heard. So that's one thing. Um, so yeah, I would I would say that yes, it helps a lot if if one person gets fully heard because then they have space to hear the other person. But what I've also done, and this is a really more practical tip, it is with a partner I had when we were both really full, not so full that we were like I can't hear a word from you, but just like mm -mm, and we were it was equal. We were both like. Mm -mm. And then we said, oh, how about we just each speak for five minutes each. We put a timer, we speak for five minutes. The other person sort of summarizes what they heard. So there's a bit of a switch moment. And then you, and then we switched <clears throat> and we did this back and forth and we actually worked out a conflict that way. So we kind of ignored this idea of, oh, you have to be heard 
until the end of words. And just because we had some space, but we were also a little bit full. So it's also a little bit about experimenting. Um, I just had another idea coming to mind and I forgot. Well, what I'm sensing in this question is a little bit of this panic of being stuck, you know, so sort of like, yeah, MVC has these ideas, but what if, what if we're both wanting to be heard endlessly, like, like s somehow, I don't know if that's true, but, but sometimes when I get these kind of questions, there seems to be a little bit of like, oh, we're stuck, we're, this is not working, but how can we do this? And, and this, for me, that's also like, I feel a lot of compassion for that because it usually means like, there is a bit of this, there is a bit of panic, there is a bit of fear, like that for you, it won't work. And so maybe check if there's something like that, if there's something off. It's so important to build a bit of trust that you can collaborate. And yeah, I don't really know what I want, what I'm trying to say here. Mm. Yeah, one idea that comes to mind is that in, in such a moment, you want to have a bit of softness for each of you individually, but also somehow for the relationship. Like sometimes I like to see the relationship as a third thing. Like there's me, the other person and the relationship. And sometimes it helps to look at the relationship and to say, what does our relationship need? Because it gets you a little bit out of that, I need, I need, I need this tendency and a little bit, in, little bit of sort of an objective stance. Of course, that's not really possible, but something like that. And it, and it might help you to see, oh, I think our relationship needs this. It's, it's something that I've tried a few times and it really worked, especially somehow if I did it together with my partner, but that was, that was for me. I mean, and I tried it with one partner, so I don't know. It's just like, I guess with everything I mentioned, like experiment with it. But yeah, all in all, there's no rule that one person has to be heard entirely. So, so just to summarize everything, for, first of all, see what it means to yourself to be heard entirely and how being heard lives in you. Like what's your history with that? And can you um, attach a bit less to this one person and to this one moment to be heard? Because that will make it a little bit easier to, to actually feel heard and to trust that you're, you're being heard. So it will go faster. Secondly, yes, sometimes you just are both kind of full and you might, it might work to just go back and forth and do make the switch mindfully. So, so summarize a bit what you heard and then switch. And I already forgot the last thing I said, but you can watch it again if you forget it. And my memory is really bad. Um, so yeah, I think, I think that's what I have for this question. Mm, let me check. Oh yeah, the last one was about the relationship. Yeah, just to take a step back and see what is it that we need. Because sometimes it might be that you need a break, like not a break in the relationship, but a break from talking, for example. Like we don't always want to be with words. So sometimes, you know, you're like, oh, actually, I feel like this relationship, I had it, I had it with, with a flatmate. Like, oh, actually, I feel like this, our relationship needs a bit of lightness. And it just brought a lot of softness to this list of issues that I want to discuss, you know, like it was just, it kind of vanished a little bit just because I realized, oh, actually we need a bit of lightness and connection. And then we had that. And then, you know, you can repair a relationship by looking at all the things that are wrong and repair them. And you can also strengthen the things that are going sort of well and focus on, on having fun and that kind of thing. And it's both important, of course. So sometimes, yeah, switching more to the other part as a break, for example, can really help. So I hope that's helpful. I'm curious, let me know in the comments what you think. And um, yeah, see you next time. Ciao.